Fresh delay and welcome to Tibet this week. This is Sakina Bhatt with another edition of Weekly News on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines first. Tibetans across the world observed Tibetan National Uprising Day. Tibet Bureau Geneva urges UN Human Rights Chief to visit Tibet. UN Member States raise Tibet at the 43rd UN Human Rights Council. A book by political prisoner Yulo Tulko Dawa Tsiring released. Central Tibetan Administration celebrates Tibetan women on Tibetan Women's Day with slogan Each for Equal. <laughs> Members of Czech Parliament reaffirmed support to the cause of Tibet on the commemoration of 61st anniversary of Tibetan Uprising Day on Tuesday this week. The founding members of Czech Parliamentary Group for Tibet, Frantisek Kopriva and Dana Balkorova, attended the official commemoration of the day as Central Tibetan Administration's guest for the event. Honorable Frantisek Kopriva, who is also the co-chairperson of Czech Parliamentary Group for Tibet, as the chief guest of the event, read out the declaration of support for Tibet from the Czech Parliament, which included former foreign ministers, speaker uh, and chairs of the Committee of Deputies so and others. Here, while uh, there will be a protest in front of the Chinese embassy, where our colleagues on behalf of the group from the Chamber of Deputies and from the Senate will speak and we will remind the Chinese government that we won't be blind to violations of international law, human rights and that uh, we will still uh, say, even if it's a long time, we will still keep saying that it's not right what's happening in Tibet. And we stand with you. The special guest, Ms. Dana Balkarova, a member of the Czech Parliamentary Group for Tibet and a chairwoman of Committee on Environment of the Chamber of Deputies, spoke on the environmental concerns of Tibet. We understand that melting of glaciers, landscape disaster, and extreme mining of minerals have grown into huge dimension in Tibet. The effects on the wider region on the global climate are simply devastating. CTA President Dr. Lopsang Singe and Speaker of Tibetan Parliament in Exile Pema Jungne emphasized the deteriorating human rights conditions in Tibet in the past decades and noted the increasing global support for Tibet in recent times. Tibetans and Tibet supporters across the world protested against the Chinese illegal occupation of Tibet. They chanted slogans outside the Chinese embassy of their respective countries. During the protest, several speakers pledged to continue advocating for Tibetans until China ends its oppression of the Tibetan people. International Campaign for Tibet President Matteo Mikachi said, 60 years of repression by the Chinese government have not won the support of the Tibetan people. So it's time for China to reconsider its policies. From outside of Tibet, the message that is coming is clear. We continue to advocate for those who are in prison and for all Tibetans until their aspirations will be met. Representative Jim McGovern said, Today I stand with Tibetans all around the world in the struggle to ensure that Tibetans in China can exercise their basic human rights to speak and teach their language, protect their culture, control their land and water, travel within and outside their country, select their religious leaders, and practice their religion as they choose. U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said, Every day, His Holiness Dalai Lama's transcendent message of peace moves us to act. Guided by the unwavering voices of the people of Tibet, we will continue working to build a brighter future for every Tibetan man, woman, and child and ensure they receive the respect and dignity they deserve. The Canadian MP Garnet Generous said, This year the Communist Party introduced a new draconian ethnic unity law to eradicate virtually all of the distinctive elements of Tibetan identity. But we celebrate today that even under the growing oppression which the land of the snows endures, the Tibetan spirit is as strong as ever inside Tibet in Dharamsala here in Canada and around the world. Pogelo! 
The mayor of the Royal Borough of Greenwich, Councillor Mick Hayes, Deputy Leader Councillor David Gardner, hoisted the national flag outside the Woolwich Town Hall located in South East London. Members of the European Parliament, Santos and Belgian MP Kogolati addressed it at an uprising day commemoration in Brussels. Ms. Santos, a member of Tibet interest group in the European Parliament, declared that it was not enough just to remember the martyrs, but we must continue their fight. Earlier, Mr. Kogolati said he was in support for Tibet because he felt human rights should be the cornerstone of the world today. He assured that he was committed to the protection of the Tibetan environment as a Green Party member and announced that he was going to raise the issue of the Tibetan environment with Belgian government in the parliament. Tibet Bureau in Geneva urged the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights to visit Tibet at the ongoing 43rd regular session of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva. Thank you very much. Next speaker is the Society for Threatened Peoples. Madam President, we thank the Office of High Commissioner for all its work. Also, we, we welcome China's invitation for the High Commissioner visits, including in Xinjiang this year. Tibetan people whose rights have been severely curtailed by China would like to bring Council's attention that the High Commissioner's expected visit to China is incomplete without a visit to Tibetan areas. What China is doing against Uyghur community is the replication of what China has been doing and continues to do in Tibetan area even today. Therefore, we urge the High Commissioner to press China for an unfettered access to Tibet. Delegates from Germany, the Czech Republic, the Netherlands and the European Union on behalf of 27 European countries called on China to respect human rights in Tibet. Member states including Australia, Finland, France, Sweden and the United Kingdom have all called upon China to respect the rights of minorities and allow meaningful access to the UN High Commissioner. Tibetans in Switzerland and Liechtenstein held a peaceful march to the United Nations Human Rights Council office on 11th March paralleling the ongoing 43rd regular session of the Council. The demonstration also marked the 100 peaceful processions in front of the UN Human Rights Council by the Swiss-based Tibetan Solidarity Movement Group. Department of Information and International Relations published a book which is an autobiography of a former political prisoner, Yulo Turgo Dawa Tsering, in Chinese language. The book was released on the Tibetan National Uprising Day in Dharamshala by the chief guest of the event, Honorable Frantisek Kopriva, a chairman of Czech Parliamentary Group for Tibet. Turgo Dawat Sering obtained the prestigious degree of Geshe Laharampa. In 1959, he was arrested for his participation in the Lhasa uprising. Although he was released after 20 years, he was again arrested in 1987 for speaking on the prevailing human rights abuses in Tibet. Women Empowerment Desk of Central Tibetan Administration organized an event titled Each for Equal in observation of Tibetan Women's Day, a platform to support and strengthen the empowerment of Tibetan women as well as to commemorate the historical significance of Tibetan women's uprising in 1959 when thousands of Tibetan women took to the streets of the Tibetan capital in protest against the illegal occupation of Tibet by People's Republic of China. Addressing the CTA staff gathered in Sikyong Hall yesterday to observe the day, President Singe urged for maintaining gender-inclusive workspace and expressed optimism in rising trend of female leaders. The event saw screening of a documentary film, poetry reading and briefing on the undertakings of women empowerment decks. In 2017, Central Tibetan Administration officially recognized March 12th as Tibetan Women's Day in its commitment to empower Tibetan women with an objective to enable them to fully part and contribute towards advancement of the society. So much for today. See you next time and have a great weekend.